Hi, and welcome to the Unreal Engine News and Community Spotlight. Last week, we announced even more free content that is now available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Five featured products are available for the month of November, so snag them while they're free. There are also 13 new projects permanently available with more to come over the next year. Be sure to check back for new free items coming to Marketplace. Unreal Engine 421 released yesterday. This release continues our relentless pursuit of greater efficiency, performance, and stability for every project on any platform. Update today via GitHub, via the Epic Games Launcher or GitHub to snag the latest features and fixes, including switch support for Niagara, the replication graphs release into a production-ready state, and improved cook times. Unreal Studio 421 was also released. Highlights include Datasmith for Revit, Enhanced 3ds Max Material Translation, Pixel Streaming, and many more features. See the full list of features in the release notes. And today we've announced the latest recipients of Unreal Dev Grants. This new round awards $800,000 to more than 30 individuals and teams with no restrictions or obligations to Epic. As with previous rounds, these recipients illustrate the wide variety of use cases for UE4, including independent games, interactive visualizations, virtual reality surgical simulators, and online learning resources. Check out all the amazing projects in this latest round. It's time for our weekly Karma Earners. Thanks to these lovely folks who for supporting their fellow devs by answering questions on Answer Hub. So Steve Cyberson, Mighty Enigma, Every Nun, Shadow River, The Batch, Redbox, Thompson N13, Toby, DG Gage, and J Man 1992. Thank you so, so much. Our first community spotlight this week is a student project called Phobos. It's an interactive project designed to illustrate the experience of living with a phobia. In Phobos, you are trapped in a house, causing a feeling of tightness and loss of control through changes in the spaces and objects. Ultimately, you'll want to get out of the house. In Pickpon, a wild player versus player arena battle game for two to four players, You'll face off against your friends in an intense and crazy showdown where being the fastest and smartest collector is the name of the game. Compete to pick up the most items before the timer runs out, but be careful. The other competitors can steal your items before you deposit them in your zone. And our last spotlight is a collection of Jordan Heritage sites in a virtual world where users get a close look at these famed structures. These sites are absolutely beautiful, and they've done a wonderful job bringing them to life for folks that maybe can't get there to experience it. Thank you for joining us for our news and community spotlight. Hi, and welcome to our Unreal Engine live stream. I'm your host, Amanda Ba. We have Nick Pfister, guest, uh, Founder of Unreal Slackers, which I imagine many of you are quite familiar with. So thank you for joining us, Nick. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Yeah, and fellow community manager Tim Slager. I, so. I thought Nick was up here. He's down there. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, Nick. He's, how's, like, how's, he's right here. He's, 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 he's <laughs> it's like he's right here. He's sitting on the couch. And we all made yeah, a point of wearing yeah, the same shirt. We didn't do this intentionally. Yeah, it was actually yeah. quite independent. Yep, totally not planned. <laughs> we yep, all so. showed up. <laughs> Saw Tim this morning. I was like, oh, we did that thing. Yep. And then Nick, and then Nick oh. calls in and is like, oh, we definitely did that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, it's Epic Mega Jam kickoff day. It is. Are you it's ready? an amazing day. So, <laughs> so, this is probably the coolest day of the week, probably the month for us, because we get to talk about really cool sponsors. We have to talk about really cool projects that people are working on or will be working on. Right. We get to talk about really cool sponsors. I mentioned that. I'm super stoked for the sponsors. <laughs> super stoked for the sponsors. You can see them all up here. Yeah. Yay. Um, but yes. Oh, and by the way, for those that don't know, do you want to talk about Unreal Slackers a little bit? Oh, sure. I mean, uh, if, you, if you don't know, Unreal Slackers is a, a Discord server for Unreal developers. Uh, it's pretty much open to anybody who's making stuff with the real professionals, hobbyists. We've got a whole bunch of different people in there. And uh, recently, we just hit about uh, 18,000 members, too. So yeah. um, I guess if you if I can, I could just drop a, a link in, if they're interested. In chat. Yeah. But yeah, it's a great resource for like, just that you have a lot of devs coming together, helping each other out, asking, asking questions. Um, and just in general being available to support each other, whether it's like, hey, look at my neat stuff, or hey, I'm stuck here, you know, 
and yeah yeah we actually have a game jams channel in there too so a lot of people are going to be spending time in there during the yeah. mega jam we'll be showing screenshots for the progress and stuff that's always I, I love going in there and just seeing the progress screenshots that people are sharing along the way it's super cool definitely it's always it's always a good time yeah it's it's interesting watching people like right after the theme announcement where ideas start coming together and they're like ah, i have this great idea. like like when the last yep, theme yeah. for that escalated quickly yeah uh, i almost said this <laughs> Yeah, ooh, don't, ooh, do don't do that. <laughs> uh, it, it was funny watching just the evolution of thought through the whole process yeah. of like, well, this is what we could do. Oh, wait. And then suddenly cats became a big part of it. Yeah. So, yeah. What, what's the... We, that I is guess, an important part of it. Do we have an animal for this theme or this... Uh, is there like a spirit animal? We could. Thing? Yeah. I feel like that's a thing we should have. I think like we'll come up with animal. one over the course of today. Yeah. So. Well, there used to be a monkey that you guys have superimposed on the stream. Maybe there's like well, there is a monkey back here, there. but um, <laughs> I don't know about that. So. Mm. He's he's left us, I guess. Oh, poor monkey. <laughs> um, but yeah, for for those of you that haven't done a game jam, or maybe this is your first one, um, you know, it's always a great opportunity to dive into Engine if you've never used it, or kind of explore different techniques, you know, like maybe this is your chance to really dive into Niagara and play with it, or, you know, actually, you know, take a game. What's really cool about game jams is you can go from start to finish, right? It's like, okay, you go from yeah. concepting to prototyping to slamming projects together to get it done and knock it out and packaging. Like, you're looking at that full process. So that's what's really valuable about these. And we love, you know, it's also a I always like to say game jams are very pure because you get to explore gameplay or, or things that right. you might not in your, like, this is the game I need to make a living off of versus, right. like, you know what? It's a week. Here we go. You know, Throw caution to the wind and kind of uh -huh. do whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's really interesting watching, like I said, the evolution of a game because people will start posting their games early. Yeah. Because the last thing we want anyone to do is miss the deadline for, for, for promoting their game. But, mm -hmm. And then, so I might download it and try it out and then try a different one. And it's just, it's a really cool thing to watch all of the people uh, put together the games and, and mm -hmm. have the conversations. And then, obviously, playing the games is, is super fun. And it, we laugh a lot when we're playing them. So Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah. Well, Man. to get you started, we have a number of wonderful resources. So if you haven't found a team yet, it's not too late. You can still go to, um, we have people making uh, teams on the forum post, or if, again, a lot of folks are finding fo uh, help on Unreal Sackers, but we also have a Crowdforge IO page, which is purely for team creation. Um, and let's see, Side Effects is offering free two month Houdini licenses. So today, I believe, is your last chance to get those. So if you're interested in playing with Houdini over the course of the jam, it's a great way, and it's like a it's a two month subscription. So even if you don't play with it today, it gives you a good opportunity to get familiar with that software. Um, if you haven't already set up your repository uh, with Assembla, still you still have the chance to ping us. So shoot an email to community at unrealengine.com. We love working with Assembla. Um, this can certainly save you some heartache and pain if. Yeah something goes awry or something weird happens to your build. Um, so let us know if you need that. Uh, I'll definitely, we'll be watching the email es <laughs> line, especially yeah. right after this, to make sure everybody can get set up and running if you haven't done that yet. We and it's quick. Once, once you, you send it. the email over and, and it gets turned on, it's a pretty quick start Oh, yeah, you can just, like, just up and dive running. in and get going. Yep. Um, so. Game Textures is giving away material, uh, material functions and... Uh, a discount off of new subscriptions if you decide you like their service. We love those guys are great too. Um, small team, I think they're based in Seattle. They've got a number of folks in Texas yeah. too, but lots of great materials over there. Um, anything to help you save time and get running, right? And then um, Soundly is going to offering sound effects. So if you're um, maybe you don't have an audio person or you're not you don't have your own library, they've given access to all of their library for the for jam participants, we it's you know it's really great, and the yeah. audio can really make or break oh, yeah. an experience. Oh, so yeah. definitely take advantage of that. Yes, we were just <laughs> talking about uh, a TV show uh, before the stream and how audio really brought that whole finale together. Moment, yeah. yeah, so it's it's one of those big things. That I think a lot of people, f I don't I want I don't want to say forget, but put off until the end where they're like, you know what, let's get the game ready, let's and then they put yeah. in the sound and it's. 
one of those things where it's you should you should start thinking about how you want your game to sound mm -hmm. uh, as you're going through each thing. So just as much as you would think about the leaves on a tree or foliage on the ground, the, the audio can definitely make uh, make the game. It really, really enhances your... Yep. Or, or breaks. Or breaks. <laughs> it's true. So. If you're playing like this super like therapeutic game and like Ozzy's playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> mix signals, <laughs> mix signals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, uh, we, we just got it up today, so it's a little last minute, but... Uh, Quixel is also offering um, access to their Mega Scans library. So we have a form. It's available. Um, get signed up. Take advantage of that. That's going to be available through November 15th, so you'll have access there. And so you don't have to sign up for that today. You know, if you're brainstorming today and don't get into textures and materials and whatnot till this weekend, you still got some time. But, you know. Definitely just want to, again, give like a huge thank you to CrowdForge, SideFX, Assembla, Game Texture, Soundly, Quixel um, for providing those. Like, it's, it's a great way Super to helpful. try a new, that's what it's all about. Learning and having fun is like right. the essence of our game jam. So like, uh, try this out. I, I see somebody's asking where these forms are. If you go to the itch.io jam page, it's just itch.io slash jam slash, well, he's going to drop it in chat. That's where they're all at. They I all dropped have, it in Twitch. Um, uh, links there. So we want to go into a little bit of project requirements. So if you're making a game for us, um, you know, it's got to have custom gameplay. You know, you can't just use like a template and submit that and call it a day. We want to see a little bit of gameplay beyond that. Um, we, we don't want to see any default materials on them from engine. So drop in that. And then we've actually expanded. We started this last jam, but you, you can now submit iOS builds as well. And so that wasn't a thing before. We're right. excited that that's um, because we can re-sign them and, and play them. So you can do, you know, whether it's Android, iOS, which we do need a development build. So it's a little, a little different, but the, the development package build. And then um, Windows or Mac, VR and AR projects. So do the what your heart desires. Platforms the <laughs> platform notwithstanding. Yeah, right, right. So yeah, and it's and it's it's always fun. And make sure when you guys are putting these games up, you you identify pretty clearly if it's a if it's a mobile game or AR or VR because I think we've tried to play a game once and found out that it was a VR game and yeah. we tried to play it on something that didn't have VR set up. So it was just a quality of life thing. Yeah, but we're gonna add that to the um, that'll be part of the submission form, so it's a little yeah. more clear for us and. Um, but yeah, in general, you know, you're going to be... Do you want to talk a little bit about the submission process, actually? <coughs> oh, sure. I mean, geez. Uh... No pressure. <laughs> Am I good? Did you guys lose me for a second? Nope. Oh. Okay. It, it hitched for me. Anyway, so I think uh, some of the things that are important for the, the submission process is like, I mean, when you start out, you know, you've got to create an itch account, and then you sign up for the game jam. Um, but I usually recommend that people create, so like on itch.io, you can create you create a project for your game. That's the place that's going to be like the page where your game lives and where you upload your files to. I always recommend creating that first before you start, because you can always change the name later. Um, and then, but there's a few other reasons why I recommend that too, because later on you can, uh, I know not everybody uses it, but, the, but itch has a really great desktop application. That's kind of like a Steam client and lets you Play games, and you can. And if you log into your account, you can see your creations there too. And uh, I'll actually show you later uh, in, a, in, a, in a little bit. There's an easy way to kind of use that to test your game uh, more quickly and easily. I think so. Oh, I think we lost you. No. No, am I good? Yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, and uh, but honestly. Uh, I mean, there's a, there's a bunch of things we can go over, but I think the main thing I'm probably going to drill home like over and over is like make sure that you submit at the, at the end because uploading your project doesn't automatically submit your game to the game jam. You still have to go back to the game jam page, and then where it said join jam before, I believe that's where it is, it'll say submit game, and then you have to choose a project and fill out the form and all that stuff. I just always make sure that people are ready for that beforehand yeah. instead of doing that at, at like the very last minute because you don't want to be in that panic no, when there's definitely... like uh, the hours. Uh, recommend like upload upload early and you know if you can package your game get it into a good state maybe it's not 
ultimately what you're going for, but, like, right. target as soon as possible, get that game done, upload a version of it, at least have the form filled out, and that way it's, like, you have a submission. You're good to go there, and then up until the submission time, you can resubmit and re-upload over that. So, you know, it's, yeah, it's yeah. much easier on your soul if, yeah, yeah, <laughs> if it's, you it's, have a working build that's at least uploaded at a time. We we get emails after the fact where yeah. it was like, hey, I, I uploaded, but I didn't submit, you know, and, and it's, we would just just make sure you upload early. I mean, if you if you know your game is large, start your build early mm -hmm. uh, and, and start the upload as soon as you can. Um, it's just the last thing you want to do is, is the 11th hour build and the 11th hour scramble to upload because, you know, what if somebody runs into a, a telephone pole outside of your house and you lose the internet? Like, you know, it's, it, it sucks. And yeah. sometimes those things happen. But so prepare for, for all kind of scenarios like that. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's yeah, actually... Yeah, a project thing especially. Like, because if you, if, you, if you have a big project and you... And you're, and you work down to the wire and it's like an hour or two beforehand and you're and you're like okay i'm gonna submit now you got a big project it's gonna take a lot longer than you think it is to upload maybe and then that's really gonna just you're just gonna be watching that oh but is it gonna upload in time then i still have to submit like you don't want right. to deal with that right. i mean that's that's very akin to shipping a live game is you have deadlines you have times where you have to you have to get your package out the door maybe you have to get it over to a, a, a first party publisher a, a first party console to get them to check it and make sure it's good to go. And there are time limits on that, especially if you're trying to hit marketing deadlines or, or press announcements. So it's it's a good practice to just be uh, just be prepared and, and be ahead of time. I was I started seeing chat over here and I said I cracked some drunk or cracks power poles or something. What? what? Uh, Tim must live what? near me. <laughs> Drunks or crackheads hit <laughs> Oh yeah. No, I don't live anywhere near you. Um. <laughs> But yeah, do you want to, did you want to show off, like, so I know some people get concerned about the size of your build, and HIO does have limits. Right. <clears throat> yeah, there's always a lot of confusion about that, so that'll be a good thing to clarify. So if you have a brand new HIO IO account, you've never used it before, and if you go to upload your game on via the web, you'll see that it, there's a, there's a file size limit of one gigabyte. But there, there, will, uh, there will also be a little link there to click that to contact them. And you can, if you still need to upload to the web, you can actually get it bumped up to two gigabytes, so it's twice as much. Very helpful. Uh, but if you have a larger game still, there is actually a third option. Uh, it's a little more advanced, but I was hoping to give a bit of a, a bit of a, a demo today to kind of alleviate some some confusion there. There's a tool called Butler, and it basically lets you use the command line to publish builds. And the cool thing about it is that not only can you publish builds more easily, but the first build is the only one that's like the full game. Every time, every new build you publish after that is just like a, it just publishes whatever you change. So every every subsequent push is much smaller and it's faster. And then again, if you're using that, that desktop app, then you get automatic updates there. And then you can just, uh, it's a great way actually, if you're working on a team, if you're working on a team, you can actually use access control on your itch.io page to, uh, you could either make other team members admins of your game um, or you could give them download keys and then everybody can get the desktop app and then the game will show up under my creations. And every time somebody pushes, whoever's in charge of pushing a new build, then it'll show up for everybody. So a lot of benefits there. Uh, oh, <laughs> I totally skipped over the most important thing that Butler, uh, if you use Butler, the file size limit goes all the way up to 30 gigabytes. So it's pretty significant if you've got a really big ambitious project. Yeah. Um, I don't imagine your game should be that big by, for any reason, but <laughs> you do have options. It's big. <laughs> I would it's hope it's game, not. Yeah. <laughs> it's there um, if you need it. Did you want to, were you going to go ahead and show how to do that? Yeah, if you guys are ready for me, I have kind of an example project set up. Sure. Yeah. Awesome. So I just want to make sure. Uh, whenever you guys switch over to me, I want to make sure. Can you guys see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, is that, is, <laughs> I, th I don't know why. I think that's uh, that's uh, related to the video conferencing app. Okay. It didn't show up until I screen shared you? my screen. I don't know what that is. Uh, either way, can you guys read the font in this terminal? That's kind of the thing I'm concerned about. Let me know if I need to make that bigger. Might help a little bit. Okay. Because I can, I can bump it up quite a bit. I just want to make sure everyone can read what I'm doing. Yeah, I think that's better. 
Okay, cool. Uh, so, so as we've kind of already gone over, like when you start the game jam, you create your itch.io account, you sign up for the jam, you make a page for your game, and then obviously you're gonna you're gonna set up your Unreal project, and if you're using version control, you set that up as well. But when you get to the point where you want to publish, uh, if you choose to use Butler, there's a couple of extra steps you have to do. So I, I thought I would just kind of walk through that a bit because it can be a little confusing. There are doc there is documentation for it, and we can we can link to that. But I thought a visual example would be really helpful for some people. Some people learn better that way. Uh, so I've already got an example project here set up um, that I created. It's a really simple one. It's just the first person template, and I already published uh, the initial build to itch.io because it takes a long time to publish the initial builds. I didn't want to take up like a, have you guys just kind of waiting like what's going on. <laughs> so I was just going to show off what it's like to publish an update. Um, but so one thing is that if you download the itch desktop app, it comes with Butler installed, but then you still have to do an extra step to be able to use the command anywhere uh, on, on the command line. And that's uh, people who, are, who do this all the time are probably familiar, but I'll try to make it easy, under, easy to understand if you've never used a command line app before. Uh, and I have like my own special terminal here that I use, but it works with just the, the cmd.exe that comes with Windows. And um, so the first thing you need to do after you if, download the h-desktop app, if you want to use Butler, is you have to do something, you have to add it to your path. And what that basically means is that you have to find the actual path where, where to the file, the exe that runs for Butler, and then copy that path. And then you're going to need to go into you uh, edit something called your environment variables on your computer. And then you'll see like a list of stuff. Well, you might have nothing here, but you probably have at least something here. If you're like me and you program stuff, there's probably already a few things here. And then you just hit, hit new and added a new entry here. You paste in your path to uh, the Butler uh, executable. And if you do that correctly, then you should be able to open up your command prompt here anywhere. And then just type Butler like this, hit enter. And you'll know it works if you'll see all this stuff pop up. This is all like help text for uh, how to use Butler. Uh, and then that, after that, the only thing you have to do after that is uh, you have to uh, uh, log into your with Butler, basically authenticate it to be allowed to push builds from the command line. And there's this Butler login command like that. It's really simple. You type that in. I've already logged in, so I'm not going to do that. But you type that in, and it'll basically it'll 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 open a window in your browser, and it'll say, "Hey, uh, here's here's your." Uh, it'll be like a, when you author when you authorize like a third party app. It's a lot like that. You just click a button that says authorize Butler for my account. Come back here and it'll say you're good to go. And then, so now I've already got, let me make sure I'm in the right directory. So I've already got my project here. Did I? I thought I had it open already. I'll just go ahead and open it up. So what I'm going to do is just going to make one really simple change, something small, just to illustrate the fact that when you make a small change and package it up and then push that with, with Butler, it's only going to push, it's going to be much faster because it's just going to push that small update. So what do I have in mind? OK, I'm going to do something really easy. I'm just going to copy this box. And I'm going to make it yellow. There you go. Something really obvious and visual that we can see right away. Uh, OK. And this shouldn't take long, but if you want to, if there's anything you guys want to talk about while I'm packaging this up really quick. Making magic happen. <laughs> Making magic happen. OK, I don't need to do that. All right, do that. Oh yeah, well, you know what? While this is packaging, I actually want to make one other recommendation. Uh, it's not a big deal, but like, I, especially if you're someone like Aller who streams and plays all these games, rename your your folder that says Windows No Editor to something that like the name of your game. It's really helpful. I mean, we we request that in our <laughs> um, in the submission form. Part of our request is that you do that. It's the uh... oh, good. Okay, which way do we do it? A, I was just, a, um, so team name underscore game name. If you rename that fo folder, it makes our lives infinitely better. Because yes, a lot of times, you know, especially for if there are people that are streaming your game, it, it's helpful for them. But even for us, where it's like mm -hmm. we're going through and downloading all the games and trying to like score them and rank them. And then if we have no idea which game we're playing and then we have to dive in and be like, which one was it? And so <laughs> it's definitely yeah. really, really helpful if you go ahead and edit that for us. We should yeah. release I remember it's just called Windows No Editor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure somebody's done that. I think somebody's done that for, for one of the previous game jams. And I remember at one point in, in the past, uh, no, I mean like on stream was though. keeping a, at one, at one point in the, oh, that would be great. 
At one point in the past, uh, one of the previous times when Alar was playing all the stream and all the game jam entries, he actually was keeping like a tally of all the games that were called Windows No Editor. He had like a, a tally of how many forgot to <laughs> rename their folder. <laughs> that was really it's funny. Not insignificant. So okay. you, the heroes, are the people that rename their folders. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Only you can help that is exactly. rename your folder. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, exactly. All right. All so right. What are you doing here in, in uh, your shell? So, right here, I am just making sure. I don't know what is this. I don't know how I accidentally created. You know what? This will be easier. I accidentally created a weird name for my, but that's fine because now I can just. Just give me one second, and I'll open a new shell. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Nothing like doing it live, right? Hey, man. Exactly. Figure out things <laughs> while we do it live. There we go. All right, so now there's my new build that I just published. Uh, I'll make, or that I just packaged with Unreal, that is. I'm just going to get in there and make sure. Okay, yeah, there, there's all my stuff. So, now, to put the, the command for Butler is pretty easy. Pretty long, so I'm gonna try and walk you through it. So you type Butler, and then push is the command you're you're telling Butler to do, and then you enter the name of the folder, which so you can see I have it right up here. So it's I called my my so now I've got itchy example v2. After that, username. Oops. Name. Oh, I think we're losing URL. some audio here. Could you uh, repeat what you just said? Your audio is uh, hurting a little. Sure. Um, um, so, where did you? I'm guessing you guys lost me probably back here at the t beginning of the command here. Mm -hmm. All right. So, walking through this. So, Butler and then push. That's the command you're giving Butler. And then you want the new, that you're pushing up. Uh, load the itch.io on the, on the website. It has to be a zip. It doesn't have to be a zip if you're using Butler. It can be, but it can just be a directory of, of files as well. So that's the name of the folder. And then after that, you enter your username slash the name of the game on itch.io. You can get this by just looking at the, the URL to the game. So your username.io slash whatever that is after the slash, that's the name of your project. You enter that here. And then you do a colon and then whatever platform it is. So for Windows, you could just enter win. Or you can do Windows, but I like win because it's shorter. And if you do that, then you'll get this. It'll start pushing files, and it gives you a little progress bar. Hmm. And you can see that was that was really fast, because all I did was change one little thing in the, in the level. Mm -hmm. And now, you make sure if you just hop into the uh, the H desktop app. So here's my game right there. I'm gonna. If it doesn't automatically update right away, sometimes the build takes a few minutes to push. You can go in the preferences menu and click this little check for game updates option. And it'll start looking for the latest version. And there we go. Now I'm on the latest version. And if I just hit launch here, will will a full screen app make the screen share get wonky? Mm, it should find out. All right, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll do it live. Ah, and there you go. There's my uh, my yellow, your yellow ball? that I added. Yeah. But you're Super using the fast. base texture, so we just can't accept this. <laughs> it's disqualified, I know. I didn't even follow the rules. Wow, wow. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's just an example of how there's a little bit more central up front, but not only the bigger file size, but it can improve your iteration time if you're very. Oh, and I we... oh. oh, I think we lost him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can oh. kind of hear you're you. It's... I don't know why. You're in the wind. The internet is angry. The internet wants to know what the theme is too. Well, it can wait. It can wait. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I mean, but as you we were saying, it's like it. This one can help your iteration time, um, but it's also so you know if you're looking to upload files that are larger than a gigabyte, then you can use this tool, um, and then you don't have to worry about that cap. Like it's the cap feels like a cap, but it's really artificial, right. and and. I think watching your steps, like this is really easy to walk through um, and get set up if that's something that you're concerned about. And again, like it's an easy way to upload right. and consistently like. And stay ahead of the, the, the curve so you're ready when. Yeah. It's not like a last minute like, oh, right. you know. Like you if you're going to go to bed, and then 
use Butler. Go take your nap. Wake up. <laughs> I don't think it'll take that long. <laughs> Depending on how big you're. I mean, if it's 30 gigs. Well, that's true. Please don't do that. Please don't. <laughs> um, all right. Can, can you hear us? Are we back? Are you still just. I don't know. He's, is he uh, frozen? Uh, we'll miss you, Nick. We'll miss you. <laughs> goodbye, Nick. But. Um, Bye. Oh, no. Wait, I heard you. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening. When I look, here. he's not even there. Oh, it's sad. <laughs> for us. Well, for you guys see him. So, someone's asking, what's the real cap? Like, we don't have a real, like, we're not going to block you and be like, oh, this game's too big. Right. Right. Like, um, we're just saying, like, the cap on Butler is 30 gigs. So, I guess that's technically our cap because we're accepting through itch. Um, I don't know what kind of. If you're making a 30 gigabyte game, we might need to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, you have way too much time. <laughs> or you're just like dumping content in for the sake yeah. of content. Um, just every every like pack on the, the, right. the free store. <laughs> oh, it seems like you're I you're functioning again. We can hear you. I think I'm good now. Oh, hey, welcome back. <laughs> welcome I'm back. I'm functioning. <laughs> Somebody's eating my bites. No, no don't eat my his bites. bites. No, that was my bite. Aller is 30 gigabytes apparently. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's. But yeah, I believe well, it. And all this, uh, th all this is available on itch.io's documentation, right? Yeah, and I'm actually going to be publishing a step-by-step uh, -step guide on my blog pretty soon here too. So. Okay, so we will share that when it's available, yeah. and that way, if if you're beyond the one gigabyte, then there'll be step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. And you can always watch this VOD. So you know, even though. Maybe you weren't following along, along right now. You can see it later when you're yeah. to that point in your project. Indeed. Um, yeah, so in general, we're looking, when you submit, we're going to need your team name, your name and each member's name and email address. That's just so that we can contact you in the event that you, like, win prizes and stuff, <laughs> and we need to know more about you. you. And it's off, you know, I think one time we didn't ask for names and, like, being like, this is the raffle winner, and not having their name was a little awkward. It was <laughs> <laughs> editor, no, or <laughs> Windows no editor yeah. one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, we need to know, you know, the name of your submission. Again, please try to change your file format. That's really, really helpful for, for us. And list any content that was created before the jam. So it doesn't hurt you, but it doesn't help you either. We just need to know. Um, and if you'd like your game to be included in our highlight reel, when we do our recap or our results stream, um, you know, link, link, give, shoot us a YouTube video. It can be 30 seconds, probably tops. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's about submission. Ugh. It's not, yeah, there's not no, too bad. No. Submit. Just remember, submit your game to itch and submit to the jam. That's like it's the big a, thing. Like it's a two step process. And yep. um, yes, We're you can use assets you've purchased again. But like, if you have these beautiful assets, and I know you've purchased them, then like, I'm not. That doesn't hurt your points. But I'm not gonna be like, man, they got all the points. Yeah. Because you didn't make it compared to somebody that made it during the jam. Right. But you do need to declare them because we find out. Uh oh. Amanda Watching. shakes her finger at you. There is a ton of free assets now, though, on the on the art marketplace that we. Uh, on what was it Wednesday? The the or that was last. Are week. they free? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was last week. That was last week. Ooh, ooh. So yeah, there's a ton of stuff out there, but like like she said, make sure you declare that in your submission, just because you know we yeah. want to know what's what's yours. I know some people are like can you use these, can you use those. You can use whatever you want, but you also need to declare anything you don't make during the jam. Right. Customs form anything you're bringing into the jam. Yeah. Um. Eight hundred and forty-four now. So many people. I'm so excited for all yeah, the games. That's be <laughs> oh. Man, that's a lot. No, that's not. That's not going to be games. That's no, participants. That's the number so. of people who have yeah, joined. Yeah, exactly. The, game. Uh, it, it, the numbers are a little skewed because of teams and stuff. You're not quite sure. That, right. That's going to be a lot of games. Yes. <laughs> all the games. All the games. <laughs> um, so, uh, do I need to declare assets made with software like Adobe Fusion? So, if you make it, you don't have to declare it. I don't, you know, if you make it in Max, I don't need to know right. that you made something in Max. But if it's like, I made this two months ago, I would, you need to tell me that. Right. Because it wasn't made during the jam. 
um, award categories and prizes. Whee! I like prizes. Ooh. Yeah. We have a lot of, lot of really cool folks on. So we're going to be doing a raffle. So for anybody that's um, participating, it, all Jam participants will be entered to a raffle to receive one of 10 one-month subscriptions to Game Textures. So textures. you can jump onto that and download those things if you're a winner of that raffle. We also have a new sponsor. <gasps> oh, I love Tim's sorry. been working with them a lot. I like the sponsor. So DX Racer has joined DX us. DX Racer. Check this and out. And we're going to give away oh, wow. three of these really rad Unreal Engine gaming chairs from DX Racer. They're amazing. And they look really awesome. Yeah. They've been super awesome to work with. DX mm -hmm. Racer was just uh, just amazing to, to, to part partner with for this. So yeah. super stoked to, to see those. Start and working with them. And oh, oh, I like what so chat's doing now. All Jam, oh, all yeah. jam participants are eligible. Everybody that you know, submits a game. Qualified entrants are eligible yes. as part of that raffle. So we're oh, really wow. excited to get a few of those chairs. Yep. Um, Dang, I can't see it, but chat looks really excited. <laughs> <laughs> They're sick. We can post a picture later, but... Um, yeah, and then we've got Logitech in with us. So um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with their light sync technology. We were having a little discussion about this in Unreal Slackers actually earlier. Um, you know, th this is where you do the really cool RGB effects on your keyboards or with speakers or behind the the monitors. Um, and so you don't have to have you don't currently have to have a setup that. Uh, can leverage these. So even if you're home, if you there's an emulator that's part of the SDK, so you can set up. And uh, Reese, I think I said his name right, um, has a tutorial that I'm going to drop in chat for you that walks through like how to set this up. So if you would like to enter for that, the team that does the best implementation that most enhances their game using LightSync. Um, We'll get some really, really rad speakers. I'm a huge fan of RGB, like everything. I have, I have huge LED strips behind my desk, and it's always changing in color. It's, it's super dope, so I'm kind of jealous of whoever wins these speakers because it's the one thing that I have that doesn't light up. Yeah, so it. I've dropped them in. The tutorial, it's a community tutorial. It's how to get set up doing, um, yeah, they're swanky speakers. RGB integration. Light sync. We love working with Logitech. They're yeah. really great and people. They're, and they're, they're new to this jam, right? Or what did they have they sponsored I before? I feel like they may have sponsored before my time. Before They're new this year. Yes. For us. First time in 2018. For Mega Jam. But let's do color. Make cool, colorful things. Light it up. <laughs> All right. Uh. <laughs> Sometimes you got to ignite the light. Oh, geez. There we go. And let it shine. All right. <laughs> Just hold. No. There is not a geo restriction on the share price. Um, I, yeah. No, there's. We'll send it to you. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll get it to your house. If we have to bring it there ourselves. <laughs> I hope I'm not like <laughs> <laughs> carrying this box. Um, <laughs> so, uh, we have our three. Uh, as we do, your games will be ranked on fun. Unique use of theme and digital fidelity. And so the top scoring teams will get the, uh, will be our finalists. And so run through their, their prizes real quick. It's a one year Houdini indie license, um, a six month subscription to Game Textures. Uh, we're also doing Logitech's giving away cool gaming mice and mechanical keyboards. Uh, you'll get a one year subscription to Soundly Pro. Uh, six months, uh, 8K freelancer subscription to Quixel, and a perpetual Quixel Suite 2 license. Game DNA, one of our marketplace folks, is, creators, is jumping in. He's giving away his uh, real time database and extended Facebook plugins, which are really, really great. Um, you can get any two packs from Dokio, another awesome marketplace creator. And then we'll do our typical, you know, an Unreal Engine. Uh, Swag box. One and of these t-shirts. Highlights. <laughs> yeah, they don't look like this. Maybe not one of these. Um, <laughs> and then we'll feature your playthrough on the thing. So we really love. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all our sponsors. Yeah, it's, it's really awesome having you all on. Um, Intel. So historically, our finals have been getting SSDs. But what we'll do this time 
is uh, one will be raffling away SSDs, and that will go to any of our special category winners or finalists. So it'll be a raffle amongst those teams. And then we also have a couple grand prize raffles. Just a few. So we have an Intel grand prize raffle. So they have this laptop <laughs> and an Asus, Asus ROG or ROG, I don't know, Strix gaming laptop. So it's an i7 8750 processor. It's got a 1070 in it. It's a powerful, beefy little laptop. So we'll raffle that to one of these nice finalists. Maybe one of the people who makes a, a 30 gig game should get one of the <laughs> finalists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be delightful. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're really excited to have them back on board. Um, and I, I know we mention this all the time, but like Intel's always a fantastic sponsor, and um, they're doing tons of stuff to support game devs. So we always ask during our, our things if you'd like um, to sign up for their game dev program. And basically, they're going to try and help you with marketing or help you get established or op optimize your game. So they're always super on board and they just want to help help you succeed and um, so we're super pumped about that so yay intel we've got some sweet sweet prizes from yeah. them intel is awesome to work with and one of our other favorite people to work with is falcon northwest i don't want to do this i don't want to i don't think we should Ooh. give this away I think you don't want to give it. it away i think we should keep it i mean <laughs> tim wants it <laughs> <laughs> i i'm really pumped <laughs> So they're giving us a, or they're making a frag box. And so one of, one individual from one of the finalist teams, uh, it's, a, it's a raffle. So one of those folks will be going home with the Falcon Northwest frag box. Can we show it? That this thing. Is amazing. I think should be just standard. This is what all computers should look like. Every single one. <laughs> all computers Everyone. should just look like this one. All so of them. It's a frag box, small form factor. You've got a little handle. You can take it around if you want to. Why wouldn't you want I don't to? Know. I would carry that to the <laughs> but store. But it's got a, like an i7 9700K 8K processor. They're putting an RTX 2080 in this thing. It's got 32 gigs of memory, um, a Z390 motherboard. It's got a 2 terabyte SSD. Like, this is a swanky, swanky computer. Imagine I, sitting in front of your new frag box in your <laughs> DX Racer chair. You're in your chair. Wearing your, your like Unreal <laughs> Engine shirt. Just <laughs> completely rebranded your life. I would imagine you're walking around with your like laptop computer. <laughs> <laughs> or your, your yeah. frag box. Yeah. yeah. So super, super pumped about this. Like, it's a really awesome uh, computer and always love working with the Falcon Northwest guys there. Yeah, they're um, awesome. They're absolutely wonderful. Um, it's, it's incredible to just see how many people are super stoked when we reach out to talk to yeah. the sponsors. They're just like, yes, how do we, love how do, we do this? Yeah. yeah, people are super they're stoked. And then afterwards when we share all the games with them, they're like, man, this is awesome, and this is you can just see kind of the the joy uh, in the in them when when they see all the work that people put in together, and it's it's incredible. So this is I'm super stoked because there's so many awesome things that I'm gonna have to come up with a secret identity and join a team. <laughs> you can't do that. All right, right. my name um, is so Jim. I was saying, can you get the frag Lager. box and the mobile? You mean the frag box and the laptop? No. So we do limit. Yeah. You cannot win both the laptop and the frag box. Yes. That would be a little extreme. We wanna wanna spread the the awesome. Spread the awesome. Yep. Um, we're doing our special categories. So if you're making, uh, if you'd like to try for some side smaller price packs, um, we're going to do our on the go again. So best mobile game, and again that can be Android or iOS. If you'd like to participate in the Something Something Reality, best AR or VR game, and Army of One, so for you solo divs, toss something your, your way. So those are three special categories. Um, it's a more limited pool, so you're looking at a one-year Houdini license, the Quixel items, still get the real-time database plug-in from GameDNA, and a pack from Dokyo. We'll still give you a shout-out on our next live stream and a cool swag pack. Uh, oh, someone's asking about visual fidelity. Um, you don't have to have realistic graphics. We just mean like how good do they look like that doesn't does necessarily it flow mean well really. it like does it yeah do you is the design cohesive do you make a like you could still have um things that are pixelated but still arted very well right um, we see a lot of stylized we see a yeah, lot of neon it like, still be really stylized just, just as long as it doesn't 
it, it's ju it's judged on how well it looks. It doesn't have to be photorealistic. We judge it on how visually appealing, I think. Is uh, solo dev can be a finalist. Yep. One. Yep. One yep. submission per team developer. Yep. Only teams of Correct. five. All right. No teams of um, six. I mean, that's most of our, our things. Yeah. There, well, there's one other little thing. Um, but nobody... Well, I want to I wanna see other questions. We need to get that sorted out. That's what I was saying. Is there's, oh, yeah. We have that's to talk the about end, questions. right? Just questions, and then that's we it. Then we're wrap done. it up. Then we can go home for the day and start working on our game jam. <laughs> uh, can you guys get BMW'd? Uh, <laughs> that would be pretty good. We'll have to get oh. samples first, I think. <laughs> right. So Let's see. Do you guys have any more questions? Other than, what's the theme? I know what you're talking. Know what you're thinking about. If Does I the win, team size weigh in on the vote? No. If I win something, can one of my team members win something else? Y yes. Uh, your team size is, if you're a team of five, you're a team of five. That, if you're a team of one, you're a team of one. Mm -hmm. It's it's the quality of in, uh, of the game, and based on the three categories Amanda had mentioned. Yeah. So each game's based on... A bucket of... Those things, yeah. Each game is rated per game. It's not, we don't give weight based on right. team size. Which is why all the prizes scale. It's like whether it's one or five. What isn't the theme? That's the, that's the question. Oh, so many things. The, the theme isn't uh, transformation. That's true. That was the that was last time. Yeah. Can it's you not be on more than one team? No. No. One team. Um... Is audio accounted for? Uh, like we mentioned earlier, having good audio adds to the game. And so within those three categories, while we're playing a game, if the audio enhances the experience, then uh, it's in your benefit. So having good audio is, is suggested. Texture is edited heavily. Do we need to state it? Um, it's nice to state it and then like if, al always lean on the safe side. You know, If you're like, should I mention it? Just go ahead, throw it in there. And we kind of keep an eye for, like, okay, this was pre-made or not content. Um, but if you've heavily, if you're heavily modifying stuff that adds to the, like, oh, you know. Right. Like, you've done work on this thing, so I'm not going to. Right. Yeah. So if you turn, that's, if you take it's better to modify them. And make it into a dragon. Lane. And that's if, a dragon. If team. you have a spot for another member, can they join mid-jam? Yes, provided you're not over five people. And don't do the cycle of like, oh, we have four, and we had a couple, we had four right. of us working, and then that person stopped working on it, and this other, you know, right. like five total. Yep. Don't um, game the system. Do we know the theme? Yeah. Yeah. We came up with it. We make the theme. We are the theme. The theme uh, is Amanda and Tim. That's not true. Nobody knows the theme. <laughs> Wait, I thought you brought the bucket? theme. Do you, I, thought, I thought you said you were going to grab it. No one knows. You got top scientists looking into it. Uh, we have deep thought or deep think from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Super advanced AI coming yep. up with a theme. Um, does any chance Trying we could get it. your point rating system? Uh, we're not sharing our point no, ratings. No, we, we don't do that. Um, does modifying the starter assets count as a new? Yeah, if you modify stuff, that's fine. I like it, and I understand, like, you know, we don't want to discourage people from building off of Shooter Game or building off of the Game Jam template that we have that exists. We just want to make sure, like, it's new in essence. Like, if you, if that's the core of your game, and then it's like, oh, well, you just, like, reskin Shooter Game, then we're kind of going to be like, right. uh, like, yeah. it needs to be more than that. Um, uh, how many people will be judging the games? Uh, at least two. <laughs> Yeah, Tim and I do it. Sometimes uh, we, ben, hey, Ben's going to help us. These are not just normal effects. blue socks. These are where's Waldo socks. And, uh, Sorry, random Sometimes band. we get some other help. But. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the theme is pick a theme? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what pick is your own the theme? theme? No. All right. I think you all have suffered enough. Yes. Well, we haven't sung yet. I, we, had, we wrote that song. He, maybe you wrote a song. Mm, it, it's, I put your name in it. Happy birthday. We just need more puns. I, I am good with puns. Um, That's what you know that crushing for. pop cans is so depressing? Oh, why? 
I've heard that so many times this week. <laughs> How do you think my wife feels? Oh, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to know. Every, everyone, everyone is itching to hear the theme. Itching? I-O. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, I got to go. There's right, no bye. time. So, uh, submission deadline out. is next <laughs> Thursday at 2 p.m. Because we want you to be done and watch our next live stream. <laughs> and it's seven days. Seven yeah. days. So. Seven days. Yeah. It's a long uh, jam. It is. It's a mega jam. Uh, let's see. If you're wanting to know, yeah. If you're streaming your work, let us know. Ping us at community at unrealengine.com. Tweet at us. Um, definitely use uh, hashtag UE4jam. Hashtag UE4jam. We want to know. We want to see what you're doing. Yes, it's Eastern time. We live in Eastern time. Um, and yeah. Um, uh, if you're going to stream, if you're going to stream, let us know. Yeah. We love to jump into streams if you're, if you're streaming. Uh, tweet at us, stream under the Unreal Engine game category on Twitch. Yep. And more Do than likely, things. I'll jump in there. Or man, I'll jump in there and we'll say hi. Yep. All right. Ooh. Are you ready, Rohan? Do, should we say everything else? Like submit. Like all the other end stuff first? They know all that. Okay, you guys know all the stuff like to do all that? The norms. The normal. We just want to let you get going. Yeah. You'll have five <laughs> bonus minutes of jam time. Um, but, yeah. All right. All right. We're going to do this Here thing? is your Ready? theme. Hold on. Wait. Uh, uh, reality oh. is often inaccurate. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that makes me feel sick looking this at the so screen cool. upside down. <laughs> 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 That's really so stressful. Cool. That was fun. All right. Thank you. So mm. ponder on that. Think about that. Be <laughs> confused or mad at me or whatever. But this is our theme. And that's what we've got to work with for a week. <laughs> Do it. You got a week. <laughs> we are super pumped. And again, yes, you can use Substance Designer. Yeah, you can use whatever software you want, folks. Um, and then build it an engine. Um, so yeah, use hashtag UE4Jam. Let us know what you're working on. We really, really love seeing your projects over the course of the week develop. So please use that. Yeah. Like we love diving in and watching like your concept art, your brainstorming process, and then like your your prototypes. It's all it's all yeah. awesome. So tweet at us. Um, do all the things. Dis, uh, yeah. Unreal Pat slackers. Dragon riders into reality is often inaccurate. I think you can figure that one out. But <laughs> reality is often inaccurate. Yeah, and I spelled it right. Yeah, that was what I was checking for. Thanks. <laughs> um, so yeah, you guys get to it. Go forth we and make inaccuracies. We are super excited to see anything. I will be jumping into keeping an eye on the Unreal Slackers game jam chat. So if you need like. Again, you can ping us at community at unrealengine.com if you have questions. Get signed up. I'll get, we'll be adding you all to that Assembla uh, repository if you need it. And then, yeah, if you have any questions, we'll be here. Yeah, tweet at us. Whatever. Go forth. Go forth. And, and make amazing games. And mega jam. Yay. All right, y'all. Yes. Have a great week. Hey, oh. thanks so much for joining us. He's not here. No, thanks for having me. It was a ton of fun. Here, I really appreciate can it. Can we shake hands? Let's see how this. No, no we can't. Like okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. You just <laughs> 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 All right. All right, guys. Good luck. Good luck. We'll see you next week.